Joining me now is Dean Obidala, columnist for MSNBC and The Daily Beast and host of The Dean Obidala Show on Sirius XM, and Dr. Bernard Ashby, a Miami cardiologist. Thank you both very much for coming to The Readout. Dr. Ashby, I want to start with you, um, because on the one hand, we, we've, got the, we've got the disinformation and misinformation. Uh, NBC is reporting that Facebook, there are Facebook dance parties. Um, anti-vaccine groups changing into dance parties on Facebook to avoid detection. Um, and the ban evasion efforts on, on Facebook and Instagram are ratcheting up as the White House has increased pressure on social media platforms uh, to do more to contain misinformation. And then on top of that, the White House is debating whether to reinstate a mask mandate. This is from yesterday. White House officials debate masking push as COVID infections spike. Top White House aides and Biden administration officials are debating whether they should urge vaccinated Americans to wear masks in more settings as the Delta variant causes spikes, according to six people familiar with the discussions. Dr. Ashby, uh, as a doctor, please, how is the disinformation playing where you are and among your patients. Well, good evening. Pleasure to be here. And I don't even know where to get started. I mean, as we all know, vaccine hesitancy is a real issue. And mm -hmm. as you can see, our, our politicians are doing what they do. They're playing politics. While we physicians are literally on the front lines doing what we've been doing for the past year and a half plus, trying to save our patients' lives. And at this point, a lot of doctors, a lot of nurses, a lot of respiratory therapists, et cetera, they're, they're suffering from burnout. This, this feels like PTSD because uh, you saw DeSantis there. I mean, his strategy for dealing with the virus is getting vaccinated. Of course, we understand that. I wish he would have talked about vaccinations back, uh, you know, when they first months came ago. out. Because yeah. Months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he got his vaccination and didn't tell anybody. OK, it didn't didn't advertise it at all when it was politically expedient to him. Now, when it's, it's politically expedient to him, he's he's advertising it. Stop sending the mixed messages, because if you're talking about Fauci and Fauci, uh, fascism and all this crap, mm -hmm. that's only feeding into the, the, the misinformation, the disinformation and the, the, the mixed communication that people are receiving. And we have to speak as one. And so at this point, all I care about is less people dying. What we're seeing is in Florida at this point in the pandemic is just unacceptable. And, you know, Dean, one of the purveyors of, of misinformation and disinformation is Fox News. Um, mm -hmm. That that Lincoln Project ad is pretty devastating in sort of calling out the hypocrisy. But you're doing more than that, Dean. You wrote for um, for MSNBC yesterday. Um, Fox News COVID vaccine denials can't go unpunished. I filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission on Tuesday. Here's hoping it moves forward. Talk about why are you file? Why did you file that complaint with the FTC? What's your goal? Because I'm tired of screaming at my television set, Jonathan, or screaming on my radio show about something needs to be done. So I'm a lawyer. I did research over the weekend. I saw the COVID-19 Consumer Protection Act, which was passed in December under the auspice of the FTC. It seemed like the perfect fit. This new law is to protect people, the public, consumers, from people peddling misinformation for profit about COVID, about the cures, about mitigation practices. And that's what Fox News has been doing. You know, Media Matters did a great job quantifying it. In about the last two weeks, nearly 57% of the segments Fox News did on COVID, which was over 120 plus, nearly 57% were to convince you not to get the vaccine through telling you they're coming to take your freedoms to actually lying about the vaccine and being dangerous. And, you know, we can debate all day why Fox News does it. Is it to hurt Joe Biden? Is it somehow for to make their base who watches the shows angry? But we can all agree on this, Jonathan. This is a big company, made $1.5 billion last year in revenue. Mm. This is a business decision by the network. So I filed a complaint. I hope others do. It'll take you two to three minutes on the FTC website to open an investigation by the FTC to see if they are deceptive practices. Should there be an injunction and should there be damages?